All righty, so for this activity, we're gonna have students hear a sound and then they have to pick a word from some word options that you give. So we're gonna go ahead and click add and we are going to say assign activity. And then we're gonna go over here to create a new activity. I'm gonna call this example, hear a sound, pick the word. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna add a template for student responses. We're gonna make it a drawing template. And then from here, I'm gonna click the icon with the three dots and I'm gonna select voice. And I'm gonna put my sight word in the middle of the page. Excuse me, I'm gonna put the uh, audio in the middle of the page. So I'm gonna put click here. I'm gonna make that really big. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to record audio that will be attached to this box. So when I click on the three dots, I'm gonna go down to voice. I'm gonna record my voice. Before, before, check my green box. And now I've got this audio that's going to be attached to this box. So from here, I'm gonna start adding my answer choices. I'm gonna put in a couple of text boxes. Here's the correct answer. And to make it quicker, you can hit your three dots and duplicate. I'm gonna put in an incorrect answer. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again. Duplicate. And then duplicate one more time. So now I've got my audio file and I've got four answer choices for my students to pick from. I'm going to rearrange this on my screen to give myself a little bit more room because I'm going to include some video instructions for my students. So to do that, you're gonna come over here to this microphone icon and click on it. And we're going to create a screen recording that our students can watch so they know what they need to do to answer the question. Click start recording. You're going to click on the box that says click here where the little audio icon is. Listen to the word and then choose the correct answer from the words below. You can use your pen tool and you can select the word that you believe is the correct answer. Click done. So now I've got this big video that I can click and drag and put on my page. And maybe I put a little box that says, click, the video above for instructions. I'll make this drag out like that. There we go. Now this is kind of hard to see where it's just here. So if I were to go in and change my background, now it's gonna be really easy for the student to see that this is a video that they can watch. But look, I still have that box that I circled from when I was making the video. So I can use my pen tool and I can go in and I can erase that pen mark. So I've got my first one done. I can use my three dots in my right hand corner and I can duplicate this page. I don't have to recreate the video instructions, but I do need to re-record the audio that I put for this specific sight word. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the audio button. Excuse me. I'm going to click on my three dots and I'm going to click voice and I'm going to click the garbage can. And I'm going to record again. Different. Different. Check. And now that new audio file is going to be here. And I can do this as many times as I want and I can continue to duplicate. Maybe I want to change some of the words that are down here. I can just double click and then say, put in my new word and re-record my audio file. Meanwhile, meanwhile, check the box. So if I've got you know 20 or 30 different slides here, that's opportunities for students to go in and do that sight word practice where you're not monitoring them one-to-one. -one. When I'm ready to make this assignment an activity for my students, I'll check my big green checkbox up here. I'm going to put any additional instructions that I want in there, 
put any notes that I could be useful to me. And then I'm gonna go down here, click save. And I'm going to choose which classes I want to assign this to. So I'll click my kindergarten example, assign to that class. And then my student responses will start coming in here through the activities tab.